everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soap. Before we get started, you guys should totally enter my giveaway because it ends on February 1st of this year. You can win free soap for an entire year and you don't even have to have social media to get at least one entry. I will leave it right up there in the upper right hand corner. Am I pointing to the right side? I don't know. One of these sides. <laughs> now, I have never been to Disneyland. Let's just start by getting that out there. As many children that grew up during the 90s and early 2000s, it has been a dream of mine to go, but I've never actually gone. It's just a really long way from Texas. But here's the deal, is that I know that there are like exclusive Disneyland and Disney World desserts that Walt Disney creates. And one of them that I have seen on like multiple recipe websites that was actually suggested in the comments of one of my videos is Dole Whip. It looks so delicious. Anyone who has had it, tell me down below if it really is as good as it looks. I really like pineapple. Caleb really likes pineapple. So gosh darn, if we aren't making a pineapple Dole Whip Disney soap today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin by mixing up our oils with our lye water solution. We're going to pour the lye water solution into the oils and not the other way around because I do not want a soap volcano on my hands. The carafe that I am pouring out of is stainless steel. I got it from Amazon and Amazon has a new program now where I can put all of the things that I use in my videos in one easy access area that is called a store on Amazon. So if you want to look at my Amazon store um, at all the things that I purchased from Amazon for soap making, you can click the links below. Let's mix this up, shall we? The mixture is well blended, so I'm gonna pour off two accent colors. All of the colors in this soap are going to be different shades of yellow. The first accent color I'm using is Cosmetic Yellow Neon. This is a very, very neon colorant. <laughs> it's from Nurture Soap. It does an excellent job. I'm also going to use some Yellow Oxide. This is from TKB Trading. It kind of goes, well, it's a little more mustard yellow if you use a whole bunch, but it's a pretty true yellow if you just use it sparingly. And finally, I have some sunshine yellow here from Nurture Soap, and that's going to go into the big bucket. I'll be adding a little bit of titanium dioxide mixed with water to all of these containers to kind of stabilize the yellow a little bit and make it look a little more creamy like ice cream. Time to blend! Do not be fooled. All of these yellows are very, very different regardless of how the color is being interpreted on camera. The fragrance oil I am using today is Iced Pineapple. This is from Nature's Garden. It is a wonderful pineapple fragrance oil. It slows down the acceleration of your soap so you have plenty of time to pour. I'm gonna blend these a little bit with the stick blender and then we will pour them into the molds. Before I pour into the mold, I forgot to mention that I'm gonna be taking this neon yellow and pouring it into this sort of creamy yellow bucket. I'm not gonna scrape out this container. I'm gonna leave some of it in there for the top of the soap. So let's pour a little in here. It'll have a nice swirly look on the inside, sort of marbled. Pour a little into the other one. This reminds me of orange juice. <laughs> we're gonna pour in almost all of this bucket and then we're gonna do one single drop swirl. Got a scrapey, scrapey out the container. Make sure we have all of the soap we can get out. Now we're gonna make one pass with this soap, this yellow soap until the mold is completely full. Just like that, you can see this one's all full up. Then I'll go just as slowly, or probably a little more slow on this one because I have to pour a little bit more. 
and fill this one up. It doesn't really matter what the top looks like for my soap because it is going to have soap frosting on top, but it's always kind of fun to play, let's be real. I'm gonna put the rest of that electric yellow color down the middle too. And after doing two swirls that don't matter, this is what the soap looks like, and I'm gonna mix up the piping and we'll put it on top. For the piping, I have the Royalty Soaps piping set with a large open star tip, and I'm going to pipe this a little different than I normally do. Normally, I hold the piping bag straight up and down, and oopsie. <laughs> Let me just wipe that right up. As I was saying, I normally hold the piping bag straight up and down, but this time I'm gonna hold it to the side because I want the ridges that this piping tip creates to be facing this direction. That way it kind of looks more like ice cream or frozen yogurt when it's cut. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm not making sure that this is all on like one soap or anything. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and just fill up this middle part that you won't be able to see. Now let's do it on this soap. I'm just gonna wiggle my piping bag up and down for the entire length of this soap loaf. The other option would be to pipe each individual bar separately, but every time I've done that in the past, I always end up with certain bars that are like way bigger than the other ones. And then like I use up too much piping. So this kind of helps me regulate how much piping is on each bar and keep up with the amount a little bit better. For this next layer, I'm not gonna go quite as far out and I'm not gonna put quite as much on. Just about like this. And I'm only going to do two lines. So there's one. We'll come over here, do the second one. This is gonna be a little less wiggly. Come over here, do the same on this one. This also, oh my gosh, it totally reminds me of mango sorbet. <laughs> Or maybe even like a mango gelato. I don't know, something like that. Now for the last little dollop on top, I am gonna hold the piping tip straight up and down because with any ice cream machine, that is like the final little look there on the top. Like when they pull away the ice cream cup or the ice cream cone, it makes that nice little point. So that's what I'm going to do here on each one of these. Well, that is the most awkward way I possibly could have phrased that. Now, when looking through the Google photos of Dole Whip, they all had different types of decorations on top. There were some that had like little paper umbrellas. There were some with maraschino cherries. There were some that had nothing on it. Some of them had spoons. Like there was lots and lots of different ways. I'm not sure what they look like right now at Walt Disney, but I know that at least, at least one, had a maraschino cherry on top and I think that sounds delicious so that's what I'm going to do on top of these soaps. I have my little soap gumballs here so I'm gonna go ahead and put one of them on every single bar right here on top. decor I'm going to put on is some biodegradable glitter. This is from Nurture Soap. This little glitter spritzer is also from Nurture Soap. Actually, I got this for free in my package because I spent like, I think it's like over 25 bucks or something there when I was getting my colorants. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here just for fun. Obviously, there's no glitter on the real Dole Whips, but this is a soap and it's only inspired by it. It doesn't have to be exactly like it. Do a few little spritzes of rubbing alcohol and let me show you guys a close up. I want to eat it. It looks so delicious. I'm gonna let this sit for 24 to 48 hours to firm up before I slice up all the individual bars. But seriously, it looks so edible, oh my gosh. 
We are back the next day to cut this soap. I have already lined it up with my 18 bar soap cutter, Evangeline. It smells amazing, like fresh out of the mold and this room is already filling up with pineapple. So I'm just gonna push gently down. Keep on pushing with even pressure. Let's pull out a bar and this is what it looks like on the inside. So here's that one drop swirl that we did. It kind of looks like a little smiley face look with one eyeball. <laughs> That neon yellow is really, really strong in here. And then that kind of creamy yellow matches the top of the soap. And then we have, of course, that slightly more mustard color yellow for the drop swirl. So I am super digging this soap. I am definitely proud of it. And then also here we have the sides, which again, I piped sideways instead of up and down so that we could get this cool little ridge effect that you normally see on ice cream and that I could find in all of the inspirational photos for Dole Whip. So I'm gonna leave two comments down below and for those of y'all who have ever gone to Disney World or Disneyland you can thumbs up the comments for which one you liked better. So I'm gonna leave one that says Disney World and one that says Disneyland. I didn't want to make that the question of the day because I know not everybody has gone but if you have you can vote in the poll in the comment section and then the question of the day is do you like Disney live action or Disney animated films better? To vote in the question of the day, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of this video to cast your vote. Thanks so much for watching. I super, super enjoyed making this. I think I should do more Disney inspired soaps because this was just way too much fun. Join me Saturday if you want to see the final creation for February's soap release. It is on February 1st at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And big hint, it's chocolate inspired. P.S. Don't forget to enter my giveaway you have until February 1st. So until Saturday, I hope you guys have an absolutely royal day and bye for now.